Good evening, class. I have chosen to focus on grant training for career progression that was featured in a video by Jackie Rerick during our week five lesson module. A different assignment that aided in my choice to focus on this particular area stems from a class that I took at Liberty University in the PhD history program. During this class, I was able to learn about the grant writing process, begin with the letter of inquiry, grant proposal, and it gave me an opportunity to, in the words of Jackie Rerick, bridge the gap in my understanding of how foundations receive the necessary funding to keep their projects alive. During this assignment, I chose to focus on the ongoing restoration project of the USS Lucid minesweeper and really what foundations were relevant to restoring old naval vessels or museums since the restoration project is underway by the historical Stockton Maritime Museum. The importance of acquiring a skill in grant writing is not necessarily be to become an expert in each field that you're attempting to fund, but rather learning the skill of developing persuasive narrative that gets the attention of funding agencies, according to Jackie Rerick, who goes on to state that this skill has allowed her to bridge the gap between the experts of a particular field who may not have the skills required to write a professional grant proposal in order to fund their project. The example used in our class material focused on her involvement with the engineers who were developing ideas for a project at the National Science Foundation. And through this example, we can see that in addition to the writing skills acquired, a proficient grant writing professional is capable capable of crossing the bridge into industries or professions despite their individual areas of expertise. This is a beneficial networking tool as well that we're going to discuss later on in this video. The next focus point in grant writing training is that it provides the individual with enhanced critical thinking and problem solving skills. You may be asking yourself, how could this be? It is simple. Based upon your familiarity with the field or project, you may have very limited knowledge and that could be a problem. This forces the networking amongst the subject matter experts and yourself in order to discover the specific route that must be taken to find the right foundation in which to request funding. However, once the foundation is found, the genie doesn't simply wave the magic wand and you have the request of funding in your account. Instead, the team must now critically or think critically on the best approach and developing the best or specific narrative that should be used in order to submit a successful grant proposal. Finally, it must be realized that the grant writing process and submission of the proposal will never be perfect. And this is regardless of the experience level of the individual or team doing the writing. And really, it may require a bit of problem solving in order to circumvent issues or work through the proposal process or requests for additional information. I think a, a critical point to hit on right here is where I said individual or team. I think going into the grant writing process, one must realize that you're not writing a grant proposal within a silo. It's not just an individual effort. Typically when doing a grant proposal is a team effort and it requires many individuals that have different areas of expertise that are capable of contributing to the overall grant proposal, the letter of inquiry, whatever stage you're at, 
in requesting funds from a foundation. Now, specifically as a future military historian, I focused in on this area because I would like to apply for a grant that will provide additional funding to the restoration project of the USS Lucid due to my love of military history, which includes the Minesweeper organization in which I have a invested interest in this uh, particular project. Now, through my involvement with the, within the Minesweeper community and the historical Stockton Maritime Museum, as minute as it may be, I am attempting to learn really how to develop the necessary skills required to write grants that I feel will benefit the project and really increase my skills for future projects. Now, as I said before, I've already had an assignment in which I've kind of had to conduct the research necessary to complete not only the assignment, but really gain the knowledge on the grant proposal system, if you would. And with this, I would highly encourage that other future historians, either in this class or really just in general, strive to develop a similar interest and strive to develop their individual skill set within the art of grant writing. Now, the reason why is you don't know what the future holds. You may find yourself into a position in which you have that invested interest in a museum, a restoration project, you name it. And this might be one of those tools in the toolbox that will benefit you later on. Thank you and have a good night.